this guy is very very different from this guy but somehow uh, something similar happened watch out uh, because it's quite a uh, uh, surreal yeah. so so also uh, on 25th march uh, his one round was suddenly back in the states court there's no reason for him to be there uh, since uh, his cases have already been transferred to the high court uh, unless uh, his taxi driver uh, is someone uh, who goes to velocity uh, where you want to go vivo city uh, or uh, go to midview city uh, where you want to go to midview building uh. but cannot be uh, his one round uh, isn't just a typical passenger eh. he's literally uh, the minister of transport but of course, he's later realized that he's facing 8 more charges. This time, it has nothing to do with Ong Bing Seng or anything trade related. Instead, it gets less messy uh, as it's allegedly due to what he allegedly did when he's the transport minister. Yeah, so here's what happened. Uh. It turned out that CPIB uh, had asked Iswan Rang uh, to their office on 18 March and told him about the new 8 charges. You see, his next hearing uh, is supposed to be on 2nd April instead. Back then, uh, Iswan Rang had asked when the new charges will be brought to court and CPIB uh, allegedly said that they had not decided on whether the charges will be brought. CPIB uh, then told is one round on 22nd March uh, that they will file the 8 charges. When his lawyer asked why like that one eh, the chief said all charges are tendered against the accused person in this case based on evidence received by CPIB and reviewed by AGC. Wait, they asked why? He then said uh, if they want to raise these matters, uh, they can do it at the high court. Uh. So here's the thing, they were in the state's court uh, to bring new charges for Iswan Rang and to upgrade uh, those charges uh, to the high court too. Uh. Iswan Rang has pleaded not guilty as well. So what are these new charges? Eh? Interestingly, uh, a new name was brought up, Ram Tok Singh. Yeah, it seems uh, Iswan Rang uh, will uh, in the future uh, run away from anyone called a Singh. The story is more or less the same. Uh. Iswan Rang uh, originally obtained as a private servant valuable things uh, with a total value of about $18,956.94 for no consideration from Ram Kok Singh between November 2021 and November 2022. This means the so-called gift uh, were received without any specific mention of what is needed in exchange. Uh. It's not like you give your wife uh, a Gucci bag uh, so that she will let you go drink beer with Tang Ziwei tonight. Uh. Instead, uh, it's like you give your wife a Gucci bag. Law. All the gifts are, are, are you know, you know, gifts uh, that sounds like what an influencer would ask for. Uh. You know, many bottles of whiskey and wine. Uh. Like, some golf related items are uh, and best of all, uh, best of all, uh, and Atta's folding bicycle uh, that cost $7,907.50. Yeah. I don't know what's even more shocking. A bicycle that cost $8,000 or CPIB investigators uh, managing to drill down to the exact price of that bicycle. Worm's company uh, has two ongoing projects with LTA. Uh. One of authorization works on Paramera MRT station and its that was awarded in October 2016 and another of the construction of the North-South Corridor Thunder between Amokyo Avenue 3 and Avenue 9 that was awarded in December 2018. LTA has since said uh, that they have not awarded any contract to the company since 2019. Now, do know that Iswaran only became a transport minister in May 2021. So far, similar to Ombing Sen's case, uh, the other party hasn't responded to inquiries. Uh. We won't know much until 2nd April, but here's what we know. It seems like in 2024, uh, if you are a politician uh, and are charged, uh, two things will happen. There will be a memorable one nighter and people will fall down. During Pita says what to state court, uh, he had this one nighter. Why do you normally come to the state courts? Then someone fell down. Said, oh, be careful, be careful. Oh dear, are you okay? During his one round walk, uh, he had this one nighter. Sorry, you all had to get up so early this morning. Then someone fell down. Hey. Oh, careful. So, what can we learn from here? Eh? Don't bring expensive cameras uh, if you are going to take images of politicians uh, heading to court. Uh. You must also watch this video uh, to know why politicians must die die refuse any gift. And also subscribe uh, if you think you have become smarter. Uh.